Hi everyone, it's Raja. And Raven. And welcome to this week's episode of RuPaul's Drag Race Canada Edition, Fashion Photo Review. We are gonna be tooting and booting the looks of the queens on the main stage of Canada's Drag Race. This week, the queen's looks on the main stage are quebec with the good hair. So it's a hair challenge. I wouldn't call this good hair. I think this is just blonde hair. <laughs> Category is quebec with the good hair. First up to the stage. Chiara, darling. I love huge oversized pants, especially in gold. I have a pair that I actually made myself. This is the third time we've seen this, or second or third time we've seen this on the main stage, and it's only episode three. No, I don't love this. I think it's pink chicken. It's underdone. When the chicken is pink, you do not want to stick it in your mouth. I know what you can stick in your mouth when it's pink. <laughs> I love big hair. I love, and I love that it's not just a big curly wig. It looks like there's an attempted style to it. I feel like that, that pant, I know which way she was going with that and I know where she wanted to go. It just, from about the thigh up, needed to be brought in and it needed to be tailored to where it kind of belled out. It just needed to be tailored a little bit. It's just not giving me the cack yet cow that I want and it looks very poorly made. It looks like it's gonna fall apart on her any second. This is a boot. It's a boot. Next we bring to the stage... Jimbo. Oh, ho, 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 ho. <gasps> bitch! The bodysuit with the harness and the breast, we've seen it, we've seen that. But that much hair, that's fierce, bitch. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's Becky with the good hair. Hair is the theme. Quebecy with the good hair. Jimbo can do nothing wrong for me right now, and I love her style. Oh my God, look at it up close. Oh, it is beautiful. I give it a toot. It's a toot. Next. Ty Nomi Banks. It's very strange. The hair on the dress. Kind of fringe. It looks a little mod. It looks a little go-go. It's cute. I wish the hair on the dress, instead of it just being pieces along the top that went all the way down were kind of layered. So it kind of shook a little, but yeah, it's cute too. Yeah, it's a two. And next we bring to the stage. Boa. Yes, Boa. That bodysuit girl, she looks dirty as f But the Merkin, how inventive. Merkins go back all the way to Shakespearean days. Like Merkins are uh, used at the Crazy Horse in Paris. Merkins are a very theatrical and stage kind of piece and also a little bit of an inside joke, and I love this. And I love that she's wearing that like Borat sling thing. Boa rat. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I give it a toot. Toot. Next we bring to the stage. Lemon. I actually like the hair. I like the hairline on it. I like the color of it. I like that it's teased up with lemons in it. However, I do not like the dress itself. I like that she kind of tried to make this fabric look like a tree trunk. It just fits weird. There's no shape. Could have been brought in at the knee, maybe a little bit tighter, or maybe even been leggings, but it just fits weird. And then the shoe doesn't just peek out from under it. It's just the shoe, the whole shoe, and nothing but the shoe. I love a trumpeted skirt. I love a nice bodice. I love, you know, the glovelets. And I, there's, there's elements to this outfit that I kind of like them. I rarely wear brown things, but when I do, I don't put yellow pellets through them because I don't want to ever look like a turd with poop corns in it. <laughs> oh my gosh. This dress seems to be constructed on top of a corset or she's wearing a corset under it, but it's not cinched. It's not pulled in. She looks boxy. What that tree needed on top was a, it needed to be a green wig, not a brown wig. Because again, hashtag turds with corn. So I'm going to say that this is a boot. It's a boot. Next we bring to the stage. Priyanka. So her whole outfit is made of hair. I just wish it went all the way around in the back. She turns around, it's kind of like, oops, didn't quite reach. But it is cool that she actually created these harnesses out of braids. I think it's very inventive. Like she's chewed on a few Tide Pods before she got out there and just went on the stage. But I think she looks amazing. A Tide Pod will definitely clean the corn out of your poops. 
She gets a toot. She gets a toot. Next to the stage, Anastasia, a knockaway. Oh, it's cousin It. So she is giving you two looks in one. The reveal is just her turning around. That's pretty fierce. That is unbelievable. I love everything about it. I love the cousin It reference. I'm a huge Adams Family fan. In fact, when I was in high school, one of my history teachers used to call me cousin It because I always had my bangs over my eyes because I was like gothy, you know? It's very well done. She's got two distinct looks. She walks out one way and you don't realize that she's gonna turn around and give you another look. So that is a toot. Two. Next we bring to the stage. Rita Baga. I think it's fine. I think it's conceptual. I love the hair. I absolutely love the hair. I love the earrings. I love the makeup. I love what she's wearing. I just wish she didn't have that big tool under the jacket. Didn't need it. But all in all, it's a good look, a solid look. I love the color combination. The styling too kind of wins for me because it's a little unexpected. Ultimately, it's just a baggy smock that she's like belted and I'm fine with that. Overall, when you really put all the pieces together and do the math on this, she looks good. I'm gonna give it a two. It's a two. Next, Scarlet Bobo. Oh, it spells her name. I can't stand when queens wear something and they have to point to it. Like, did you see it? Did you see it? <laughs> did you see it? Yeah. I love that she has her name spelt over her head in what looks like a tiara out of hair. And I love that she's wearing hair as fringe. I think Scarlet Bobo looks adorable and it works. And it says her name. Two. I like it, two. Next to the stage, Ilona Verley. Cute. I love that she's wearing a heel. Maybe a big chunky one, but she's wearing a heel. This bitch does not do titties. Every time we've seen her, she said, no, I'm not gonna wear them. I ain't gonna do it. And I love it. There's a lot of wonderful things to this, but I really kind of love the boots, the wideness of it and the bagginess of it to me, like brings that fashion element to it. But she looks so good. She looks like put together and the poodle reference and those giant buttons for eyes are really, really charming. And I love that each poodle has a wig on. If your poodle isn't wearing a wig, are you even doing drag? I give this a two. Yeah, that is a two. Trend alert! Merkins. Merkin, Merkin on your gherkin. I am a Merkin, a Merkin, a Merkin, <laughs> just like her crotch. <laughs> Our, Our top, top two, two of the week, week is... is... Ilona Burley. Burley. Yes, Ilona. This is perfection. This is the tea, yeah. Don't forget to tune in every Thursday to Crave and catch an all new episode of Canada's Drag Race. If you don't live in Canada and Crave is unavailable to you, make sure to check out the link below to see how you can watch Canada's Drag Race streaming around the world wherever you're at at WoW Presents Plus, right below. I don't remember eating corn. <laughs> I was just gonna say that. <laughs> I don't remember eating corn. Mm. When's the last time I ate corn? <laughs> Bye. Bye, girl. Bye.